got a few things done this morning, so it's time to do some dinner prep. Picked up a beautiful rack of spare ribs. We're gonna go ahead and coat those with some honey as a binder. And then we're gonna go with the Far Out Foods Bees Knees Honey Rub. That just always works, it's got a great flavor. We're gonna cook these a little different than I usually do. Um, tried this a couple weeks ago and was very happy with how they turned out. So we'll give you a peek once these are seasoned up and ready to go on the grill. Spare ribs are prepped, ready to go on the pit boss. Coated with honey, generously seasoned with Far Out Foods Bee's Knees Honey Rub. Just a spectacular flavor on ribs. I go to it a lot. So we'll see you once we're getting close on the smoker to 165. Get it off, get it wrapped. Spare ribs are off the smoker. About three hours, we're at 165. We've put these in the pan with a little orange juice, some butter, some more honey. Hit that again with the Bee's Knees Far Out Foods. And a little bit of California Original from Hogs Rack barbecue sauce. Stuff is amazing. Thought I had some brown sugar, but apparently I used it all when I made the jerky. But the Hogs Rack has some brown sugar in it, so that should be okay. We're gonna get these back on the smoker. We'll cover them up, keep them on there for another couple hours. See you then. Spare ribs are off the smoker. Oh, they look beautiful. Just perfect. Bones are falling off. We're gonna dredge all this back through this juice we had this cooking in. Get it on the plate. We are on the plate. These ribs turned out so good. Little andouille sausage. Corn on the cob, that's been seasoned up with dad's salt and pepper. I don't know what it is about that on my corn, but I just can't get enough of it. Some fresh jalapeno cornbread with honey butter. Uh, this is how to end a Wednesday night before you go back to work right here.